the inchworm. Remember, the most important part about the inchworm is to do things slowly and not to bend the legs. Try to keep them as straight as possible. Do not bend the knees, keeping the legs straight. We're gonna break it down step by step. Once the student gets all the step down perfectly, then they can start doing it on their own. So first step of the inchworm is reach down and touch your toes. Remember, it's perfectly fine if they cannot touch their toes, but you do not bend your knees. Next step, they're gonna walk their hands out into a push-up position without moving their feet and without bending their legs. From here, they're gonna hold, hold a push-up position, hands directly underneath shoulders, back flat, toes curled. Now from here, they're gonna walk their feet to their hands without bending their legs and without moving their hands and shooting their bottom straight in the sky. Go. Inching their way in, making sure legs are not bent. As you can see, Emma on the left side has a leg straight. Romeo bent his knees a little bit. But once again, that's perfectly fine given the age. Next step, you're gonna walk your feet back out into a push-up position without bending the legs, going straight back to a push-up position. Go. Next step, they're gonna walk their feet back to their hands, sit back on their hips without bending the legs, hold the stretch for about three seconds before standing up. 